So art, making art, doing art, drawing art, looking at art. Art is a fun hobby, isn't it? People will associate it with being a very expensive hobby though, don't they? I mean, uh, you know, you gotta get the right good paper, you gotta get good art materials, you gotta get all of this stuff. And it, when, you get, when you look at it online, it really adds up. However, it doesn't have to be that way. You can, from items you can get from the dollar store, make anything you want, really. And today I'm just going to show you some of the techniques that I have found and used to um, draw with it, make things cheap. So these are all items that I've gotten from the dollar store or from, like, you know, really other cheap places. Now, the first item that we have here today is just regular old Crayola crayons. Now, People associate them, and with my previous video I made them look like they're, they're used for kids. When you try to use washable crayons and try to make them into watercolor, yeah, it doesn't work. But, that doesn't mean these things don't produce a lot of color. They're great. They're quite, they're in the, and these are dirt cheap. You can get these for about a dollar or two. Uh, next thing that I use is poster board. Now, this probably won't fit in frame, but... Instead of getting art paper and spending $15 for a set of 15 pieces of art paper paying a dollar each, you can get poster board for about 50 cents from like Dollar Tree or the dollar store. And what you do is you get some sandpaper, such as this here, also got from the dollar store, and you just sand on the back side, the matte side, and you have some really nice art paper. Actually probably some of the best art paper that I've used. So that's also something. Um, I've also got a few other things here that I've used. Um, I got some erasers. I got a set of five for a dollar. These are pretty useful. It means like erasers are required. Um, pencils. Pencils you can get from a uh, Dollar Tree. Now another thing that I've found is actually color pencils. You can get color pencils such as like regular old color pencils there or you can get uh, supplies such as these which are mechanical color pencils. Something I've never really seen before. Now these are quite interesting in themselves. And of course you also need like a lining tool. So I have a simple pen here that I got from the dollar store. It's a set of two. They're by the company Ink R2 Rollerball uh, 0 0.7 millimeters. But yeah. <clears throat> so using these materials, I'm going to demonstrate for you how you can make something with these materials. Now, I figured that uh, we're kind of going on a cheap here. We're kind of acting like we're poor here. So I'm going to uh, draw someone who is very much the epitome of classy yet a pauper. So yeah, I'm going to uh, be doing a drawing based on uh, Charlie Chaplin, the tramp character that he used to play. Um, after sanding on the back side of the paper, of the uh, poster paper, I get really, you get, when you do that, you get a really nice, uh, feeling on the paper, it really you end up making art paper that's really nice. And so as you see here, I began sketching and drawing and uh, sketching out the proportions, which I was struggling quite a bit with. Uh, proportions are very important with, with drawing and very important to when I draw because really that's the only thing I'm really good at is getting proportions right. And so, as you see, I've also tried, I also redo the eyes because the eyes were, I thought were too small, but in the end they ended up being too big. So I just continued to work on that. Um, I got the eyebrows and I tried redoing the side cheeks and the hair itself was quite uh, difficult for me. I was having difficulty basing it off of the reference of Chaplin that I had. Either way, once I had that down, I began working on more of the detail, just getting over the stone with that little pencil, and also got the, the end on uh, the uh, collar. And now I'm going in with that pen that I had earlier, and I'm just going ahead and outlining it. I'm adding the teeth here, and in the original picture, the teeth were quite weird looking, so as a result, he ended up looking quite unusual with his appearance. Going back in with the eye, trying to make them look nice. Now I'm going in with the hair, and just using my trying using the pen to the best of its ability. Um, throughout some of the development, it was failing a little bit, but overall, it was a very smooth pen. And I mean, you can get it maybe for a 50 cent pen. You can't ask for much. I'm now erasing the uh, background layers I made with the pencil using one of my erasers that I got. 
and now it begins the uh, fun part, adding more detail and eventually coloring. You see I'm pulling out the crayons now. And I was really struggling initially with the colors because the original photo had a very specific color palette, but it did I didn't have that colors with me. So originally I tried blending the pencils, the pen the crayons to get the effect I wanted, but I ultimately determined that, as you'll see here, that didn't work, so... In the end, what I ended up doing was just basing the colors based on their own lighting, so... Uh, as you can see, I made quite a few mistakes there with the, uh... Eyebrows with not the eye, the eye shadow and the uh, shadow shading around the eyes. I made him way too dark. He looks almost like a more raccoon than he does a person. So I had to go back and fix that. I've also tried getting more outline with the uh, trying to get more shading with the black. Again, it looked like he had a beard, so I had to go back later and fix that. And then I f was able to figure out the coloring with that. And then finally, it's got colored in the hat and everything else there. And then that was basically it. So yeah, here is the final result. And as you can see, it's not my best work personally. I'm not quite happy with it personally, but I have to say for dollar store materials, this turned out pretty decent. I must say like, you know, using crayons to make the color, using uh, ink pens and using poster board out of all things, it's messy on the back. But yeah, so this really demonstrates to you that you don't need to be rich. You don't need to be have expensive art materials or anything of the like to um, make good art with. You can use anything really. You can even use a mouse and keyboard if you're that talented. It's all really in the skill level and clearly I'm not really that well skilled in realism, but hey, art's fun.